Take hey, a welcome back to Daybreak. We got some critters in the studio that we're handling here, passing off. Patty Spittler of Pet Pals TV. Who did you bring in with you who brought ferrets? Uh, they brought their ferrets, pet ferrets. Uh, Graham and Amy Lupinski are in here today, and you'll see more of them at 10 o'clock on Pet Pals TV. Sure. One of our favorite uh, one of our favorite stories for 2017, and they have two ferrets and a okay. German Shepherd dog Yay. that are best <laughs> friends. Aww. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to see are ferrets uh, good for pets for you? Certainly need to be <laughs> active. Graham, can you tell us a little bit about? You're the ferret father. You've got one on your on shoulder. Your shoulder. <laughs> well, what are they? First off, what family are they in? Um, ferrets are uh, ferrets are classified as a weasel. They're a in weasel. the weasel family. Oh, okay. okay. Why did you decide you wanted a ferret? Um, one day we just decided to get one, and then for this one, we thought Murray needed a friend. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it wasn't a hundred so, times the size. I've, I've learned about ferrets over the years. They have some traits that are, what, they hide things? Oh, and they burrow. <laughs> yes. Amy, go ahead and operate. What do you yeah. find in your house and where? Well, what do these guys do? Every pair of my shoes are under my bed. Um, the second I take a shoe off, he hides them. So <laughs> I have to put my shoes away immediately or I have to have Graham go slide under the bed sure. to fish out all of my shoes. Oh, that's funny. I'm surprised they're strong enough to move shoes. The plunger, yeah. too. Yeah. You've got a picture I, I saw on your Facebook page where this isn't this one that keeps hiding something. It's a mm -hmm. uh, takes it under the bed every single day. And I think we have oh, there's the pictures too with your German Snuggly. Shepherd. Now you have Mays, Marley, and what's the other one? Murray. Murray's Murray, Furry Murray. I'm holding Furry Murray. Oh, look at that right there. So, so uh, but they don't bite you, ma'am. Um, well, <laughs> <laughs> the babies. Bite until they learn not to. It's just play. They, oh, okay. nibbler, their skin's right? very, very tough, and so um, they play with each other. It looks aggressive, but it's not. It's it doesn't hurt. So they have to learn that we can get hurt. And Maze has learned very quickly. That's she was just very like a bitey. puppy. That's right. the same exactly. thing. Exactly. We have to teach them. No, this isn't how we play. <laughs> and what what do they eat? And where do they sleep? They sleep in your sock drawer. I hear. Is that right, Grill? Yeah. Mostly him. Mostly him. <laughs> what, do, what do you feed your ferrets? Um, we feed them a dry food that ma that's made of meat. All right. Yeah, okay. And how long do they live? Um, average is six to ten years. Okay. Six to ten years. That's that's a big commitment. Yeah, it So is. what have you learned from the ferrets, Graham? Um, how to hold them on your shoulder. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> stay, how to pose. stay in balance and pose, right? <laughs> <laughs> and the shirt right there. Can you show them your shirt right there? Father of Ferris. There you go. Okay. <laughs> well, it sounds like a very fun and entertaining pet to have yeah, in the house. And what's good for, for sure. kids to know? I mean, I had growing up bunnies and turtles and, and no ferrets, but you know, guinea pigs. It's how to take care of yeah. them. How so we will them. learn about all of that and more from this story on Pet Pals TV, which is on after daybreak. <laughs> Patty good. and everybody, thank you for bringing them in. This is a lot of fun. Thank oh, you. He's so adorable. Yeah. Yes, he, I got ferret kisses. <laughs> I kissed a ferret and I liked it. There you go. Marcus, we got to send it to you. <laughs>